What is up guys, Danger Rick back again to break down the inspiration behind my latest video, Ill Mind of Rick. Uh, there was a lot of thought that went into this project and I'm excited to break this down for all of you, so let's get it started. And just a little disclaimer, I currently have COVID, so that's why I sound a bit nasally. Uh, so anyways, here we go. So first off, obvious, maybe not so obvious, but the title is a big parallel to the Ill Mind of Hobson videos, specifically Ill Mind of Hobson 5. Uh, which was a big project that's been on my mind since it first came out. Uh, I've probably listened and watched that video, you know, maybe hundreds of times by this point. Anyways, that style of shooting all in one room with black lights and various angles was something that I wanted to embody for a long time. Uh, though the final product didn't necessarily turn out 100% like I had originally wanted, uh, from years back, the, the overall message and vibe still holds true. So that's where the title and the beginning styles first originated. Everything else from there, you know, really came into focus while I was actively putting together the pre-production for the video and especially as I was piecing together the song. The angel and devil in the video were originally supposed to be sitting on my shoulders for the same effect, but during a random dive into the YouTube black hole one night, I stumbled upon something that would literally frame my approach going forward. Uh, the video was uh, basically a breakdown of a painting by Hieronymus Bosch, a painter from the late 1400s who had a very morbid view on the world and most importantly his art. Uh, the painting I'm talking about is the Garden of Earthly Delights. The piece was broken into three panels and it looked uh, you know, at different stages of thought and life through temptation and sin. I watched various videos on this piece and it helped shape how I really wanted to assemble the project. Uh, the framing for the video is one to one ratio to this painting. Uh, with the screen being split into three parts, with the outside panels taking up a quarter each and the middle taking up the remaining half. Uh, I don't want to keep going on about this other artist or his trippy paintings, but just know that it played a large role in the development stages for this video. Uh, from there, I really wanted to keep the concept of the internal battle between right or wrong in the forefront. I thought about, you know, what better than an actual angel and the devil on each side of me, both giving me their take on what I should do and ultimately how I should live my life. For this project, I actually reached out to a new engineer and he was able to pull together my incoherent ramblings into an instrumental that would end up being the base for the whole project. I'm looking at you, VG Stellar. I'll post your link in the description. Thank you again for your work. Uh, as that was being put together, I started assembling gear and props. So power strips and cords, clamp lamps, light bulbs, black lights, devil horns and angel wings, and of course face paint for the devil shots. It took a few weeks before everything was here, but I was able to focus on writing the lyrics and do further planning for the video during the meantime. I knew how I wanted to structure the video with heaven and hell and galaxy in between where my neutral character would be centered. For the first time, I used my access to Photoshop to manipulate the frames for the video and to focus on the overlays for the backgrounds and various other effects I found just searching through YouTube. I finished recording my vocals and sent them off with how I wanted the final mix to sound and it came back to me and I was ready to roll. The day finally came for me to film. My girlfriend and dog were headed to New York for the weekend and I was supposed to have a buddy of mine come help me film for the day. One thing led to another and I ended up having to go solo for the shoot, which I was ready to do and actually was excited to see what I could do 100% on my own pace. Uh, between running to the dump and working out in the morning, cleaning up and doing all that stuff, I actually didn't head downstairs to my man cave until around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Using a shot list I had assembled the days leading up to this really helped, breaking down what shots I needed first so that I wouldn't have to waste time or resources. With my cameras all charged up and ready to go, I started filming. Uh, different shots, attires, cameras, props, lighting setups, everything had to be straight for this to work, and it really did. I went from shooting against a woods background tapestry I got for Christmas to hanging posters with black lights with my GoPro on the ground and I just really started filling the gaps and it worked out well. I eventually got to the point of breaking down the green screen shots so I set that up and began getting those. Before I knew it 10 hours had passed and I had a couple SD cards full of what turned out to be quite an ambitious project. I dumped my footage before the end of the night and I left the basement in shambles to be picked up in the morning. Having started editing before I actually shot any footage, I was already in a better spot to put everything together. With my cheat sheet for reference, everything was just matching up with the audio and letting them fall into place. This was exciting as I didn't have to worry about pacing or b-roll footage as everything was already mapped out. Everything was cropped, keyed for the green screen, opacity manipulated, images controlled, titles and effects put in place. Hell, I even put 
After Effects into use for the first time, doing some motion tracking for the Halo over the Angel, and even using that for the Fireball for the very last shot. All in all, the editing process was done in about a week, and luckily with my obsession of reviewing the project a thousand times, I was able to iron out the little tweaks and learned a lot during the whole process. Well, that's about it. The video is out if you want to check it out and see what all these ramblings are about. Shout out to VG Stellar again for the instrumental and audio mixing. And just to be that guy, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next one. This is Dangerick signing off. Peace.